Oprah Winfrey introduces Pastor T.D. Jakes like a movie star at his annual Faith and Family Convention, Megafest, in Dallas. Appropriate, as Jenks, one of President Obama's spiritual advisors, is quickly becoming a Hollywood insider. One of the quickest ways to inform and educate and impart ideas to people is through film. There are way more people uh, in, uh, in the theater on Friday night than there are in the pews on Sunday morning. Banking on that, Bishop Jenks is holding the first ever International Faith and Family Film Festival as part of Megafest showing only films with a strong Christian theme and pointing out that these movies are going mainstream. I think that faith films have evolved to the point that we can take on complex and complicated issues and inject truth in it without necessarily being overly preachy or beating you over the head with the Bible. Hollywood apparently agrees. Studios are seeking the pastor's guidance on how to make these movies more appealing to the faith community, like he did under a deal with Sony Pictures to produce Whitney Houston's last movie, Sparkle. I have made it very simple in this house. Respect, getting an education, and having a relationship with the Lord. If you can't do that, then go. Other studios are following the lead. The movie The Butler had a separate trailer designed for a Christian audience. The film's producers also released a spiritual guide to the film. It's a sign that the faith-friendly content is profitable. Hollywood has caught on that this is, that this is important, uh, not only from a purely business standpoint, that it makes sense, it makes good dollars and cents. Jenks and the faith-based film industry are attracting top Hollywood talent as well. The festival is previewing the much-anticipated Heaven is for Real, based on the best-selling book. It's directed by Randall Wallace, who brought to the screen Braveheart and Secretariat. In New York, Lauren Green, Fox News.